That's enough of that. Hey everyone, my name is Joe Ranger and welcome to my vlog. Oh, it's exciting. A little bit about me in case you didn't just read that whole scroll thing. I am a media composer, which means that I compose for anything like film, TV, web series, games, trailer music, maybe some jingles, everything. If it involves moving image and music, I'm your girl. Now, I'm only 22 years old, so I'm just starting out. I'm in no way a professional. <laughs> Definitely not. But I'm hoping to get there. Hoping to get there. As you've seen, I've just finished my undergraduate degree at the University of Sheffield in music. And in September, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be starting a master's in composing for film and TV at Kingston University in London. I have got a really great project on the horizon called Foreman. It's by a company called Black Veil Entertainment. And it's sort of like a reimagining of the Doctor Who lore, the Doctor Who canon, but in a really interesting way. It's all about stories and individuality and identity and diversity and it's just fantastic. Albert de Dachshund. I was born and raised in an extremely musical household. Like everyone in my family plays a musical instrument. Apart from my dad, who's the only one who's actually released a CD. So music was just everywhere, including classical music, which I was raised as. I'm a classical musician. I play the piano and trombone at grade 8, and I also play the trumpet. I've also been just a huge fan of all things film and TV music since... for as long as I can remember, really. I think there must have been one point where I, I was watching a movie, I was listening to a soundtrack, and it just dawned on me, people actually do this as a job. Oh! That was it. That was it. Never looked back. And now I'm actually reaching the point where, huh, I'm gonna actually have to decide whether I want to do this or not. And it's a little bit scary, especially for someone my age who, you know, isn't exactly of a very financially blessed generation. And whilst there are fantastically wealthy film composers out there who, you know, not naming any names, do you like this room of mine? It's a very nice room, a very nice Zimmer. The vast majority of media composers out there are not fantastically wealthy. Not that I'm really trying to be fantastically wealthy, but you know. But all the same, that's what I'm gonna do. So what am I gonna talk about now? How about I give you a rundown of my top five favourite film composers? So at number five we have the late, great James Horner, yes, that's right, Mr. Titanic himself. Composer of such films as Apollo 13, Titanic, Braveheart, The Amazing Spider-Man, all of these films, gorgeous soundtracks. Although I do have some questions about the synth choices in Titanic. I mean, what is up with those Casio keyboard sounds? The splashdown scene in Apollo 13 still makes me cry every time. Also, it has like the best modulation ever. You know, like Michael Jackson man in the mirror level of modulation, like way up there. At number four, we have the master himself, Mr. John Williams. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, E.T., Schindler's List, Hook, 
Yes, Hook. But, I mean, do I need to say more about John Williams? I mean... He knows his way around the orchestra like rosin around the string section, Vaseline around the brass section, alcohol around the trombone section. At number three, we have Harry Gregson Williams and also kind of John Powell because the two work together really closely. You all know his scores from Shrek, Chronicles of Narnia, Chicken Run. Yes, those legendary movies. Chicken Run just messed me up so much. Oh my god. He captures up these complex emotions and still paints a really lovely, positive, child-friendly light on it. Nummer zwei. It's Mr. Magic himself, Patrick Doyle. That man just knows how to write just ridiculously magical music. Cinderella 2015, Goblet of Fire, Nanny McPhee, even Thor to some extent. But ultimately, I just love his music so much. Uh, I just don't know what to say about it. It's just beautiful. It makes me cry. So who is number one? One. And no, it's not Hans Zimmer. Ha 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 ha! I had you fooled. <laughs> it's this guy. <laughs> no, not Iron Man. Could you imagine Iron Man as a film composer? No, it's Alan Silvestri. And why do I love him? Well, he's just such a versatile composer. Forrest Gump, Stuart Little, Parent Trap. And I mean, his theme for Avengers. That's, that goes hard. But perhaps the reason I love him so much is because he scored the music to my favorite movie of all time, Back to the Future. So there we go. There's my top five film composers. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think? What are your top five film composers? I want to hear, I want to know what you think of my top five. I want to know what your top five are. What do you want to hear me talk about? What do you want me to do on these vlogs as well? So yeah, leave your comments below, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Why, is, why am I putting my hands out like this? I need to stop that. This is bad. <laughs> this is like, what am I conducting? Wow, my chair's squeaky. <laughs>